You guys there? I was just in the kitchen drinking Eric's wine, but I've got my own right here. But it's more fun to drink his. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you so much for coming back to our living room. Uh, this is our ninth Tuesday night, um, and this is just amazing to see you guys come in so many weeks and uh, just share this experience with us. We will never forget this. We went through this together, and we've always got this, right? So we've got songs of hope and happiness this week, and we just thought after all the people we've lost and after all the bad news and the, the good news and then the bad news again, and after being in your house for so long, songs of hope and happiness seem really what we need. It's what I need. So um, uh, I wanted to share this with you. Um, I'm drinking Harmony, which is our wine company, and you guys just got shipped Harmony if you're one of our members. And my friend Nick Egan did the artwork for this, and I'm in love with it. So if you don't have our Harmony, grab a GSM or you know some cool, awesome red wine and drink with me. And uh, we're gonna have our cork dork, ask the cork dork. Um, so Eric will be taking your wine questions, so come up with some cool wine questions. Stump him. Ask him inappropriate things. He loves that. <laughs> so he'll be out a little bit later um, answering all your wine questions and drinking with us, and he's playing some stuff too. I put him to work. Uh, so, oh, and we have one more week of our shelter in place special. I know a lot of you guys are going back to work and you're going back to your normal lives. I don't know if they'll be so normal anymore, but uh, back to what we're calling more normal, right? So we've had a shelter in place special that's 30% off shipping at our wine shop. So go to Reserve Tastings, get your wine, um, get you 30% off shipping, and that'll go away after uh, the next week. So uh, we hope you drink, we hope you sip, you listen loudly, and you enjoy everything. Um, for the music today, this is so fun. Um, I get to choose songs that inspire me and that make me happy. Uh, the first song is by totally one of my heroes as a saxophonist, but I, I think it's such an inspiring song. Uh, Michael Sambello wrote it, uh, but David Sanborn recorded it, and boy, when I heard this song, it was just like, wow, it just soars. So it, I think it's just one of the most amazing melodies. I love to hear him play it. Um, I can't hear him play it right now, so uh, I'm gonna play it in honor of him and just what a hopeful, amazing song. This is called The Dream.
Sanborn. I gotta take a breath after that. Go David Sanborn. Uh, I hope you guys are great tonight. I'm just so glad you've uh, decided to join us. It makes me feel so good just to see you guys and see you come in and, and get to talk back and forth. I, I try and get to all the, you know, all your comments and stuff after we get off the air and, and by tomorrow morning. But right now, uh, Eric's oldest daughter, Jordan, is uh, kind of at, uh, at the computer over there answering some questions. So say hi to Jordan over there. <laughs> so who's, who's in here? Well, we got Chicago, SoCal. That's not, that's not Jordan, that's Eric. New Jersey. New oh York, yeah, of course. Arizona, Florida. Woo! The great country of Canada. Canada! Come on! Great Britain's here again. Great Britain? Yep. Wow, okay. Minneapolis and North Carolina. Minneapolis, North Carolina, I love a that. Good, a lot of good wine questions. Get your, get your, oh, you got wine questions going too. That's good. Put them on the spot. You know, he's just been lounging around the house drinking wine. Make him, you know, make him think about this. Make him, you know, think about all this stuff. All right, so you're getting your wine questions. Thank you for coming in from so many cool places. And, um, all right, I'm going to put this down, and I'm going to play you a song that I wrote with Jim Peterick. And if you don't know Jim, he's been one of the members of Ides of March for almost his entire life. Those guys have been together 55 years. It's amazing. Um, but we just wrote a song that was on their record that just came out 55 years later um, called Friends Like You. And I just think it's so beautiful. But we wrote a song years ago called It's All Good. And we did a version that was kind of like a jazz trio. Now, since I've done versions in Hawaii with ukulele and, you know, just had fun with the song, but I've never recorded it on my own. Um, but it's always just been one of my favorite songs. It went on his record, you know? So uh, I wanted to play it for you. I've never played it and sang it at the same time. Um, but you know what? There's a first for everything. So uh, I want you to just sit back, let your hair down, get your drink on, and remember that no matter what is happening around us, it's going to be all right. It's all good, all right? It'll be all good.
talking about. It's all good. A little glass of wine. There's a line in there. I could stay right here forever and live this day again and again. And that has run true with me for the last nine weeks. <laughs> I think you guys can relate to that. <laughs> all right, so uh, can I bring my husband on? Is that all right? <laughs> it's all good, right? <laughs> By request. Wait, hey, where'd you go? Eric Guerra, this is, this is the husband. <laughs> Wait, oh. Someone said we got to turn the bar light on. Thank you. Is that on? Yay. Okay. Bar's in. Bar's on. Bar's on. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and even though I'm a wine expert, I guess, we still use logo glasses. Look how cool those are. Grammy glasses. I know. We got those huh, from serving as a trustee. Yeah. They gave us Grammy glasses. I keep, I keep breaking all the reels. I know we've broken every other class, haven't we? Except yeah. for the really big ones. Yeah, yeah. But we're washing those up for next week. Yeah. Don't yeah. you worry. We're keeping them. <laughs> All right, so uh, there's a song that when uh, Eric and I sat down and said, okay, um, songs of hope and happiness, there's a song that came to mind, and it's so famous. It's been done a million times, and it's one of those songs that, I mean, I grew up with as a kid. I know you did too. Um, Judy Garland sang it in The Wizard of Oz, right? But then it was made famous again by Iz. And if you guys haven't heard of him, you need to look him up. He's this amazing, he's not with us anymore, but he's this amazing Hawaiian singer and ukulele player. And I love his version too. So we're doing a mixture of Iz and Judy Garland. But are you ready? This is... This is called Somewhere Over the Rainbow. It's so hopeful, right? Like, you can't go wrong with this song. No. Yeah. No. shipping it's the last couple of days so hopefully you take advantage of that uh, I want to say thank you to everybody that bought all of our wine sold out of Chardonnay the Rosé the Petite Syrah we got some questions of people say you know are we gonna get any more we don't we don't think so maybe sometimes we can if the winemaker has a little bit more but you know they're all super high-end wines so go online 
and get them while they last, reservetastings.com and go into the wine shop. Yeah, but so. you know, you become a member of the club, then you just get them. Yeah. Every, you know. Then your allocation is guaranteed. Yeah, for every, every what, four times a year, four times you get a year. one. Yep. And it's cool. Yeah, four times <laughs> a year. So, if you have any and questions, music. let us know. But thank you for all of our members out there. And let's, uh, we got a couple questions. We'll go through these really quick because the next song is really, really awesome. Um, so, screw cap versus cork. So, that's a good question. So, screw cap is really, really good on wines that don't need to age in the bottle, which is mostly your light white wines, rosés. So screw cap versus cork doesn't really matter, but screw cap I prefer on the light whites and the rosés. Um, on the bigger reds, on all reds almost pretty much, uh, cork has proven to be better over a longer period of time because there's a little bit of oxygen that gets in and kind of gracefully ages the wine. There's a whole other thing about corks that we won't get into. That's why they call me the cork dork. <laughs> You mean but, like the, the manufactured ones that are kind of uh, yeah, we'll go into that one plasticky and stuff? There's plastic, there's real, there's agglomerate. Oh yeah, I said it. Alright, so what is my favorite it's wine? Sexy, isn't it? I'm going to ask her, what is my favorite wine? That was one of the questions. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good wine is my favorite wine. What's my favorite wine? Well, Paul Roger Champagne is what, I mean, he'll do anything for Paul Roger Champagne. Almost anything. <laughs> Almost. Oh, almost. All the guys out there, I'm still cool, all right? <laughs> all right, so 100% Pinot Noir Champagne is not red. Someone said I had 100% Pinot Noir um, Champagne made out of Pinot Noir, but it wasn't red. The reason why is because inside of every grape, even a Cabernet, the, the juice is clear, meaning kind of a golden color of any grape. The color comes from the skin, so that winemaker chose to get the juice out of those Pinot Noir grapes, but didn't put the grape skins on it, so there was no color. There you go. Um, and the last one is, a, uh, actually, this guy, I get this question a lot. Why makes my nose stuffy? Well, the reason why is the sulfur, the sulfites in it, the preservatives, basically, so the wine doesn't oxidize in the bottle, um, and you're just a little sensitive to the sulfur. So I say power through it, keep drinking, cheers. Yeah, I, And that's a non-medical medical device right there. But everybody's <laughs> handing out non-medical advice lately, so I'm going to as well, keep drinking. <laughs> So. That's good advice. Yeah, I like that. And I think that's about it. Oh, and the dinner tonight is chicken piccata. Oh my god. Yeah, we got some questions. Piccata. I know. I'm so excited. So, chicken piccata. Cheers to everybody. PreserveTastings.com. And thank you for drinking our wine. Yeah, thank you so much. What a fun thing to be able to share, well, the wine club with you. But through this, it's been really fun to just ship out wine and, and feel like we're doing you know, what I can't do as a musician, which is come tour and hug you guys and, you know, uh, be doing that. So I got my fingers crossed. We're talking to people and, and moving dates and everything. So we're going um, to be back out there. We'll be back out there. Yeah. You know exactly when I'm not sure. Everyone's just kind of feeling it out. But I mean, we have dates booked right now in August, September, October, November, December. So and, uh, Italy is still on. Italy is still on. So if anybody's interested in going to Tuscany with us, hopefully when everything is all over with in November, uh, we're like, still booked. We've got like Italian guy here. Yeah, right? I know I've got like Italian guy here. <laughs> would you like to play music for the nice people? I would. We're going to play something really, really different now. We're gonna play, we got into U2. Now, you, you're better at this than I am, but we got into U2 last week, and Mindy's like, let's do a U2 song. That's easy, right? Well, you know, we go off on tangents. That's why we love to pair music and wine. Right. Uh, we love, you know, we love to listen to different music and everything, and we got off on this U2 tangent. And I don't know, maybe I forgot or something. How great they really were. They're just Art. so great. Yeah. What a great rock band, what a yeah. musical band, great lyrics. And, uh, you know, uh, look, I'm not Bono, and I'm not trying to be Bono. Uh, so we're just singing the song because we love it. And obviously Eric hasn't played guitar this much since you were in college, I think. I'm not the edge. I'm like a round marble. <laughs> <laughs> but this is more a, a tribute, and it's just, it's such a perfect song for songs of happiness and joy and hope. Because this song says it's a beautiful day. If the sky falls, you're still going to think that it's a beautiful day. And the sky feels like it's falling some days. Yeah. Uh, so let's remember together that it's a beautiful day.
I have to take a drink before this one. Again, I've had people playing guitar and keyboards for me all these years, but it's up to me now. <laughs> so uh, besides practicing Bono lyrics, I've been practicing piano, which I usually only write on. But uh, this is so much fun. So one of my favorite songs that uh, I've ever recorded, this is called I Wonder. Gonna be alright. There's a song I wrote called Gonna Be Alright. 
and it's uh, it says that it's going to be all right. So that's what we're talking about this week. So this one's for you, Tony. You want to go out to the patio, hon? I think the patio is cool. Oh yeah, the phone's going to go. So yeah, careful there. <laughs> Whoa. Come on out to the patio. Come on, this way. <laughs> you have to open your own door. I'll open my own door. That's all right. Princess. <laughs> <laughs> I'll even close the door. Thank you. See? Rose garden. Rose garden. Dogs. Dogs. We got neighbors. <laughs> this one's called Gonna Be All Right. I gotta see if the horn works, right? <laughs> distancing properly exactly. with saxophone and wine all right we love you guys please stay Thank safe and uh and we'll see you here next week same time same place in the living room we love you